Chapter 43 When Jeremiah had finished giving this message from the Lord their God to all the people, Azariah son of Hoshiah and Johanan son of Korea and all the other proud men said to Jeremiah, You lie. The Lord our God hasn't forbidden us to go to Egypt. Baruch son of Neriah has convinced you to say this, so we will stay here and be killed by the Babylonians or be carried off into exile. So Johanan and all the army officers and all the people refused to obey the Lord's command to stay in Judah. Johanan and his officers took with them all the people who had returned from the nearby countries to which they had fled. In the crowd were men, women, and children, the king's daughters, and all those whom Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah. Also included were the prophet Jeremiah and Baruch. The people refused to obey the Lord and went to Egypt, going as far as the city of Tapanes. Then at Tapanes the Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. He said, While the people of Judah are watching, bury large rocks between the pavement stones at the entrance of Pharaoh's palace here in Tapanes. Then say to the people of Judah, The Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, I will surely bring my servant Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, here to Egypt. I will set his throne on these stones that I have hidden. He will spread his royal canopy over them, and when he comes, he will destroy the land of Egypt. He will bring death to those destined for death. He will bring captivity to those destined for captivity. He will bring the sword against those destined for the sword. He will set fire to the temples of Egypt's gods, burning all their idols and carrying away the people as captives. He will pick clean the land of Egypt as a shepherd picks fleas from his cloak, and he himself will leave unharmed. He will break down the sacred pillars standing in the temple of the sun in Egypt, and he will burn down the temples of Egypt's gods.